my dog ate my, my PowerPoint. Just kidding. I don't have a dog. Okay. I sat in a room piled with soda boxes, decaled coffee mugs, dream catchers on walls, more refuge than home. Alex Smith puffed an e-cigarette hanging from a rainbow lanyard with I Heart Jesus written on it in a bold font. He said, you know, I think Jack is in a better place. He told me of Jack, his boyfriend, thin kid with duck-tailed hair rising high above his head. Jack, who was banned from the Gay Straight Alliance for throwing pieces of paper during meetings. Jack, who felt, who found himself being shoved into lockers in high school. When he told his parents that he was gay, his father, a bishop, pulled off the door from his bedroom, yanked away cell phones and computers until Jack's only secret hid behind his smile. Jack's family was Mormon, a religion built from the persecution of Joseph Smith, a 12-year-old boy who saw God. People feared Joseph for the spirituality he found inside himself. Fear that drove mobs to scatter bullets and blood across a jail cell. Fear also drove saints to desert isolation, to that other September 11th that we have in history, the day when religious men walked side by side with pioneers from Arkansas, pulled out guns, shattered lives. Years later, soldiers would find skeletons, women cradling children in the sagebrush-covered mountain meadows. A backhoe would dig deep, pull out shallow bones from a forgotten grave. In junior high, I lay on a stage with a rope around my neck as others dragged me around, my body twirling under spotlights. I was called a faggot while sitting in church pews, while walking in missionary clothes in Brazil. I planned to kill myself by putting a plastic bag around my head. No blood, no mess. Alex said Jack is in a better place. His family ripped him from friends, closed up that bedroom door. They hid him in an effort to to hide their shame that they felt for him. He ended up feeling that death was a better solace than family. When a pistol propped against the temple, plastic bag overhead, steel blades against the skin call more lovingly than a community that is built from persecution, then there is a problem. I grew up Mormon. I do not hate this state, nor do I hate Vernal, the city surrounded by chocolate chip mountains. No, Utah came from that blonde hair prophet who hid in dungeons, who cried as wind whipped through log walls, cried out, O oh God, where art thou? But found no mercy from the hearts of men. No, I grew up Mormon. But I know I threw away my religion. I went and dropped my garments on the floor. I found, I found hatred within my own desire to be better. But my own, my own gashes inside my soul left me wanting more. I dug deep, and now I found communion in conversations, in an office, holiness and poetry. I learned to praise the boy with the plastic bag who hoped he could learn how to hope again. I stood in that mortuary, stained glass windows with sand cranes reaching high above clouds, feather tips brushing bamboo. On the wall were mountains, a lake from paintings, Alex said Jack was here. Jack, that boy that I only knew fo through photographs. I've, I've found more solace through the way 
that I have come to love myself. And though words cascade against me, they're weak. Hope can heal all wounds if they're not too deep. I know it's hard, but even though I respect perfection, I've come to worship scars. Thank you.